Um, there's lots of people involved with the um, REU program. So I'm sorry, I just put my name up there to get us started. But um, what I wanna do is just outline what we did this summer, um, some of the topics that our students did do this past summer, and then what some successes and challenges were and also getting some of that feedback from you, especially as we plan um, our next year. But we just had a super fantastic group of 11 young people from all around the country, and I'll show you where they came from. Um, some didn't travel too far from home, others traveled a lot further um, to come for this experience. Um, it was about a 10 week program. Um, we connected uh, one undergraduate student with at least uh, some type of research mentor that could have been a faculty member. So I myself mentored um, one of the students, could have been connected with a postdoc in that group or even um, in a graduate student um, that, and what they were working on. Um, it began uh, first week in June, and we finished um, the first week of August. And one of the things that we did to try to just make sure that we were connecting, because we had 11 students um, from all over, that were in multiple places and trying to get them together, we checked in um, on Friday mornings. And we had a diversity of things that we tried to do during that time. And one was just introductions, you know, that first time, um, a couple weeks in, they already were starting to share what their research project proposal was. So that was a good experience for them to get that experience. Um, and then others, we scattered in invited um, speakers. And usually those were folks that then shared what their point or their position, their role, their activities with the RAIN project were. Because again, some of our goals for the RAIN project were to highlight you're working in a big team. You got a lot of different moving parts. Who are all these different parts and the different topic areas that we were covering? So Doravar spoke about um, the fertility. You saw a couple slides there. Um, Cesar talked about the modeling piece. Um, we had, I forget the first name, Colin talk about the Kronos system and, and we just had different people um, introduce those different components. So that really helped um, all the students know um, what was going on. Um, our goal was that they would prepare a poster um, as a concluding uh, project for the research that they had been doing in their program. And so then um, that was towards the end, we did a, a poster symposium on the 5th. And a couple of questions uh, came up at different times. It was, it was really neat um, that I had a number of students that would sit down with me. It's like, okay, I am thinking about graduate school. How do I do that? Where do I start? What do I do? And it's so reflecting back um, on, on my strategy. And then we would have a number of people sitting around the table sharing you know, strategies and approaches. But this was part of our goal. And what I wanna um, show is just some of the names, where they were from and who they worked as, with as a faculty mentor. But again, several of them also had other folks in the group. So I don't have everybody on here and I apologize for that. Um, but for example, we had Eric, he was actually in biochemistry department, but worked then with uh, Brian um, at Oklahoma. Lindsay Bear Kohler was with uh, Dorvar. Um, she was from the University of St. Thomas in Minnesota. Megan Williams worked with me. She was from the University of Virginia. Uh, Elizabeth Frieden was from Tufts. She worked with Andres on the modeling. And Kevin Etter from uh, SUNY um, worked with Eduardo in setting up um, some of the weather centers. Uh, Taryn was from Penn State. Um, he was maybe one of the few that actually had a little more ag experience compared to where all these other individuals were coming from. Um, most of them were environmental science. Um, some were in engineering. Uh, and so very different areas. Uh, Shelby, no, let's say Carson was also in biochemistry, worked with Brian. Shelby was one of our local students, but was working with Chuck and, and expanded her work in the RAIN project. Carlos from Puerto Rico worked with Ignacio and Ignacio. Um, Cindy Villavicencio was our one person out at El Reno. She was working in USDA and very interested in uh, GIS, her backgrounds in geography and remote sensing. And then Maddie Morris, Tyson mentioned her uh, from the University of Arizona um, and worked then on uh, characterizing soil structure across different things. So my next slide is what their poster topics were. And so it's a little dense, but gives you the sense of the range of things that these students were working on. Um, and, basic, and, and these were separate mentored relationships that they had. So we didn't narrow it down. They may were slightly off the edge of, of some of the RAIN project, but a lot of them participated right in the field studies um, in the different areas or used the data from there or really contributed. So it was just a lot of fun. Um, these were the poster titles. Um, we have them available. Some of them, the presentations are on our YouTube channel. So that was something else. We recorded all those presentations 
They're on our YouTube channel, so you can still take a look at those. We've encouraged individual undergrads to participate in the ASA meetings, um, to, to give their poster presentations if it still fit, or maybe in the future. Um, I'm a weed scientist, as you guys have figured out by now. So Megan, an invite to her to go to our weed science conference and present those kind of uh, projects and those sort of things. But just a real range of uh, fun topics um, that those students um, participated in and shared and could complete in that nine to 10 week time window. Just wanted to show off what Megan was doing. Um, she was great. Um, and she was very interested. We, I listed about 10 different potential areas, some directly in rain, some on the periphery. And she's like, well, I'm working with Dr. Rice, so we gotta do climate change. She was intrigued with enhanced carbon dioxide <laughs> impacts. And of course I'm weed, so it's like, well, how do these weeds behave? And, and so she set up a growth chamber study, multiple chambers, we had the CO2 going and we, we followed the growth. And so it was just Megan showing off um, that we can grow Palmer, see? in the growth chamber <laughs> and it loved the high CO2 environment compared to these guys that hadn't gotten very far in the low CO2. So we gotta be worried about it because those weeds, are, if you thought they were bad in those fallow plots, imagine what we're looking at because they love their C4 plant and, and will go like crazy. So it was very relevant to some of the things that we were uh, talking about in there. The, the poster symposium was great. So this is just a capture of our Zoom audience and our uh, local folks um, as we tried to catch them on screen and in person, but that was how we really ran our meeting. Um, our final symposium, again, we recorded it and um, each one got a certificate. And one of the things that um, I did do um, with each of those students was give them a pre-program survey and ask them general questions about what did they know about agriculture? What kind of research learnings did they wanna get out of this experience? Um, and those sorts of things. And then I asked a lot of the same questions at the end, got all the data, haven't quite processed it all, but I was having fun reading some of their comments. Like, what did you really benefit and, and get out of this? And uh, one, I don't know if it was snarky or whatever, but it's like, I really like those certificates at the end. I thought, cool, <laughs> something to take home that I did this. And so I thought that was kind of hilarious. And I'm glad I spent the evening before burning up and getting that done. But those are things that, you know, appreciate. I got this done. I have something to show for it other than, you know, spending a, a summer in Kansas or Oklahoma, I guess. But I wanted to share just a couple statements um, to recognize what those students thought were advantages or benefits that they got from participating in the program. Um, I got experience working in a field I was not familiar with and using equipment and programs relevant to my career path. I was able to become a part of a research group and because of it, my love for research was able to become reignited. Additionally, it made me much more self-confident in my abilities. I learned a lot about what it's like to work with a large team of researchers in the process of conducting research. I gained valuable research experience that gave me a better idea of what furthering my education would look like. And, and just a lot of those kind of questions. So know that you made a difference. Those students really appreciated it and that we um, hopefully put them on a path. They may not come to K-State, they may not come to Oklahoma, but we brought in folks from outside of ag um, that really got a good experience um, and, and participated. Um, so my plan is to, to pull some of these comments together, reflecting on what they learned and gained throughout the program. Um, but then we have a challenge. We have to do this again another time. So start thinking of if you're willing to mentor, if you want to add your name to our mentorship, we bring in 10. We had 11 this last year. Um, we had two years of individuals that had applied for our REU program. We had about 138 applicants over those two years. Several of that first years were able to come um, this last year and then out of our new group um, we brought in another. So there was a lot of excellent individuals that were interested in getting agricultural research as we described it, getting a range of experience. And so we're really um, excited how this worked and planning to do that again. Um, I also got feedback on what kinds of things can we do different and how can we help them in some of these uh, skill sets that they were really um, interested in gaining. And so um, it was just a really uh, good program, excellent students. I think we're on the right track in, in connecting them to research and out in the field and adding to our pool of ag kind of um, interests and knowing that it's broader than sometimes what we think. So that was really good. Um, so I'd like to hear, and maybe this will come out in, in our breakout sessions, but uh, from the mentor standpoint, or 
you know, the students as they were working at them, what were some of the successes? I read you some of those, just what they gained um, and some of the challenges. Um, part of that was the Zoom thing. We were really hoping to all get together, you know, both groups um, versus just running it on my end and in K-State, we had them all around the table, but not with the Oklahoma folks as much. They were separated as well. Um, so those are some things that we really wanted to do is build in some more, let's connect in the middle. Maybe we have to come to Wichita and try to, to, to get together and, and see some things um, together. Another was the challenge of putting posters together and just thinking how to do that also through Zoom. And so what are some of those skills? So we need to bring together our expert poster makers and, and talk about that next year and how do we do that? So those are some of the things I'll look forward to hearing from, from you um, as we plan our next year. But our call will be going out soon, uh, mid-October probably for our next set of REUs. So we'll need to come up with our project lists and, and think about that. All right.